lithium ion conversion part two I've done the pipe battery yeah originally I made a stem to mount to mount the battery box at the rear when I had the big coil on but I've got a few of these middle stems so I thought I'll, I'll make a battery holder out of one of them here's a switch off the back of an 18650 torch switched on now the the wires are running through the center and emerging through two holes that are already in the stem so ideal just got to feed them into the box uh, maybe through a tiny grommet and solder them onto the terminals positive negative but I don't need to, I'm not going to do that that was just a bit of play just for if a manufacturer looks they might think oh we could do that maybe use carbon fiber tube to go through but yeah we could make a battery stem like that with a nice little switch on the back uh, it just puts the weight puts the weight more weight at the back to balance the machine better if you've got big coils on uh, it's an easy way of putting your batteries at the back so let's just show that it, it's not just bullshit that I've actually powered it up and there's batteries in there uh, there's your thing yeah 11.88 they're just the the duff blue ones I showed you not even fully charged but now that's that one done with switch that off here we have the battery holder for the three 18650 batteries as you can see I've used two little brass tiny screws uh, got to use a tiny drill tiny drill to pre-drill the hole and then screw them in turn over we have screws sticking through so get the little dremel little dremel cutter and cut them bits off so they don't go into your foil and then pass the wires Pass the wires through the holes and into the back and obviously solder them onto the red and black terminals. That should leave it quite nice and tidy. I don't intend going back to alkalines really so this this will be the final setup. The stain will click in place. Bit of tape across here because what I've done here is I've disassembled the alkaline box and uh, yeah obviously the front bit which has two lugs on that's missing now so the best way I can think of is just put a bit of, bit of tape on there holds it steady and obviously it will form an inch when I can take the batteries out but yeah that should be fine and now that takes us to the other conversion the the free batteries truss fires into the battery box now I've done all the work as you see the it hinges on gaffer tape there because you disassemble disassemble the old alkaline take off the top part off and leave the bottom of the old Z8 batteries discard that for now uh, and hinge it via the gaffer tape but yeah, if we just clip that undone. One, two, yeah. Inside there we have the three 18650 holder. And just slot that in there. You're more expecting a fire now, aren't you? This is very safe. Right, so there we have them. Three 18650s in situ. Close him up. Hang on. Trapping the wires. No, they're all out of the way. Clipped. Okay. So. Moment of, moment of truth. Just 
That's, a, that's how I like to run it on the edge of the threshold. So there you have it. Lithium ion conversion complete. Uh, I'll add a few photos of the installation, a few photos of the installation of the battery compartment. Uh, I'll ground the screws, I'll screw, tiny grub screws through. Uh, to be on the safe side, I ground off the backs of them afterwards uh, and salt, passed the wires through and soldered them inside the box. Very, very, very simple. Very simple indeed. And it seems I've took it out in the garden, had a little play. It sounds smoother. Uh, my al my alkaline battery pack, uh, the springs and whatever got corrosion on them. So I mean, when I used to put the multimeter on it, it was jumping anywhere between eight volts and twelve volts. So that's what got me worried that I was, you know, dropping voltage, even though it weren't beeping off saying it got flat battery. I was worried that I was going to have problems and miss targets. So rather than spend 70 quid on an alkaline pack, uh, this is what I've come up with. It's cost less than a tenner. And I'm sure it'll last a lot longer than a 1000 milliamp mine lab pack. So if you've enjoyed the video on the conversion, please subscribe and that will encourage me to do other projects in the future when I come up with ideas. Uh, I'm sure I'll do more. This is my second lithium ion conversion. First one was on a Garrett, old Garrett uh, deep seeker from the 70s or 80s. But, uh, this is the first one that I'll actually use on a regular basis. And I'll give you feedback how I get on, how many hours it'll last on the on this pack. I expect it'll last at least 20, no, nah, probably more, probably more like 30 hours. But we'll see. I'll feedback. I'll add, I'll add a few photos at the end as to what I've done. Thanks for watching and subscribe. Cheers. Bye.